Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of real-world ratios and rates. This is standard 6.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 30 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got Taylor and Rainey each earn an hourly wage. So Taylor earns $308 for 14 hours. Rainey earns $288, a little bit less, but it is less hours. 12 hours, and which statement is true? So we're looking at uh, per hour, really, is what we're looking at. So let's look at Taylor here, right? So this is a rate here, so I've got $308, and we're looking at per hour. That's what we're looking for. So $308, but we don't have the per hour. What we have is 14 hours, right? And then for Ramey, we've got something kind of similar. We've got 288 for 12 hours. Well, we learn in sixth grade that we can view fractions as just a division problem that is not yet finished. So let's do some dividing, All right? Let's start with Taylor. We're going to take this 14. We divide it up into 308. So 14 goes into 30 twice. It's 28. That's, oh, there we go. 28. So there we go. It looks like a nice even $22 an hour. Okay. So if you were to divide top and bottom by 14, right, we're going to just make an equivalent fraction is what we're going to do. This is going to be $22 per hour, per one hour, but we can just kind of represent it that way. Well, let's do the same thing with Ramey, see if it's that nice and even here. So we're going to do that same thing. We're going to divide up. So when we've got this ratio here, it looks like a fraction. You can always turn that into a decimal. If you divide up, divide the denominator into the numerator. 12 goes into 288. See, 12 goes into 28 twice. That's 24. Okay, so looks like we are going to have another e even quotient here because that's going to go in there four times. All right, so that's $24 an hour. So if you divide this into, let's get 14 right there. No, that's 12. I was right the first time. 12, 12. You're going to get a little bit more. So Ramey actually earns a little bit more. So $24 an hour. So even though uh, Ramey earned less, it's because Ramey uh, worked less hours. If Ramey were to work the same hours as Taylor, uh, we can infer that Ramey would actually earn more money. So let's look at our answers here. Taylor earns more per hour than Ramey. Nope. 22 is definitely not greater than 24. That's what it's saying. So that is incorrect. G. Ramey earns more per hour than, okay, the exact opposite. And this is saying Ramey, 24 is greater than 22. Yep, that's what we've been saying. So uh, that's looking pretty good. Let's check H and J just to double check. Ramey earns $26.80 per hour. No, I'm not sure we're, we're getting the $26.80 unless for some strange reason we were to, to divide the $288 by the $14. So, nope, not even that would get there. So I'm not sure where, I'm not sure where that's coming from. And then Taylor, I don't know where this is coming from. I'm not, this is just poor division. Maybe we're not using the algorithm correctly. But no, we've got nice even numbers of $22 an hour for Taylor, $24 an hour for Ramey. Ramey makes more, so our answer is G.